In algebra, an idempotent matrix is a matrix which, when multiplied by itself, yields itself. That is, the matrix M is idempotent if and only if M equals M. For this product M to be defined, M must necessarily be a square matrix. Viewed this way, idempotent matrices are idempotent elements of matrix rings. Example, examples of A and an idempotent matrix are AND, respectively. Real to a, two case, if a matrix is idempotent, then. Implying so or, implying so or. Thus a necessary condition for a two a, two matrix to be idempotent is that either it is diagonal or its trace equals one. If B equals C, the matrix will be idempotent provided so as satisfies the quadratic equation, or, which is a circle with center and radius one half. In terms of an angle I, is idempotent. However, B equals C is not a necessary condition, any matrix, with is idempotent. Properties, with the exception of the identity matrix, an idempotent matrix is singular. That is, its number of independent rows is less than its number of rows. This can be seen from writing, assuming that is full rank, and pre-multiplying by to obtain. When an idempotent matrix is subtracted from the identity matrix, the result is also idempotent. This holds since, IAM, IAM, equals IAM AM plus M2 equals IAM AM plus M equals IAM, A matrix A is idempotent if and only if for any natural number N. The if direction trivially follows by taking. The only if part can be shown using proof by induction. Clearly we have the result for, as. Suppose that. Then, as required. Hence by the principle of induction, the result follows. An idempotent matrix is always diagonalizable and its eigenvalues are either 0 or 1. The trace of an idempotent matrix a euro the sum of the elements on its main diagonal a euro equals the rank of the matrix and thus is always an integer. This provides an easy way of computing the rank, or alternatively an easy way of determining the trace of a matrix whose elements are not specifically known. Applications Idempotent matrices arise frequently in regression analysis and econometrics. For example, in ordinary least squares, the regression problem is to choose a vector of coefficient estimate so as to minimize the sum of squared residuals i.e., in matrix form. Where y is a vector of dependent variable observations, and x is a matrix each of whose columns is a column of observations on one of the independent variables. The resulting estimator is where superscript T indicates a transpose, and the vector of residuals is. Here both M and R are idempotent and symmetric matrices, a fact which allows simplification when the sum of squared residuals is computed. The idempotency of M plays a role in other calculations as well, such as in determining the variance of the estimator. An idempotent linear operator P is a projection operator on the range space R, P, along its null space N, P. P is an orthogonal projection operator if and only if it is idempotent and symmetric. See also, idempotence, nilpotent, projection, hat matrix. References